on my friends welcome back to my cooking channel ellen's homemade delights and happy mother's day to all the mothers out there and today in my southern kitchen i'm going to share with all of y'all a classic dish that we love down here in the south cheese grits but we're going to do a baked version that's right sugar we're going to make baked cheese grits and my friends it is so simple and easy to make and as always it is the bomb.com delicious great to serve for mother's day brunch Everybody's going to love and enjoy this and it's going to be cheesy. And I'll post a complete recipe along with the instructions down below in the description box. And for more breakfast and brunch recipes, check out my breakfast and brunch recipes playlist. For more grits recipes, check out my grits recipes playlist and my previous video, Mimosa Bread. I'll post a link to those down below in the description box. So grab your seasonings, your grits, and get your cheese grated sugar because we're about to bake some cheese grits magic in my southern kitchen. Here we go. All right, my friends, over here, I grated my cheese and I recommend and grate it yourself instead of buying it out the bag. It melts better and it don't have any filters. I'm using Kobe Jack cheese, or you can use sharp cheddar or Monterey Jack, whatever your heart desires. And I grated one cup over here that we're going to put inside the grits, and then I have some extra over here to put on top before we put it in the oven. So now we're going to set the cheese aside while we cook our grits. In my saucepan, I have my fire over high heat. We're going to add in two cups of my favorite milk, evaporated milk. And all we do is bring it to a boil. All right, my friends, our milk has came to a boil. So now we're gonna slowly add and whisk in a half a cup of quick cooking grits. And remember, you wanna whisk it so that way your grits won't be lumpy. And over here, I have my eggs. The recipe called for one egg, but I have two medium eggs to make it one large egg. I'm going to take a ladle of the grits mixture and pour it into the eggs. And we're going to temper them so that way we don't get scrambled eggs. All right. Our eggs is nice and tempered. We're going to pour it back into the grits. And give it a quick whisk. And we're going to let this cook until it thickens. Alrighty, my friends. Our grits is nice and thick. See? That looks great. And off camera, I removed it off my fire. Now it's time to add in our last three ingredients. You can't have grits without some good old butter. Going to add in three tablespoons of unsalted butter. My seasonings, a half a teaspoon each of kosher salt, white pepper, or you can use black, onion powder, and garlic powder. And be careful not to add too much salt because cheese has a lot of salt in it. And now one cup of cheese that we grated earlier. And stir all these ingredients together until the cheese and butter melts. Alrighty, my friends, our cheese and butter is melted. Mmm, and it smells amazing. It's not even baked yet. Now we're ready to pour it into our pan. We're going to pour it into a square baking dish. And I sprayed it with butter flavored cooking spray. Or you can grease it with butter. Alright, so now I'm going to... Spread my grits evenly. And last but not least, we're going to sprinkle on our remaining cheese. Now we're ready to put our grits in the oven. Oven's preheated to 325 degrees, and we're gonna let it bake for about 30 minutes until the cheese is melted. And I'll bring you back. All 
All right, my friends, there you have it. Southern baked cheese grits. Don't that look good? I just taken it out the oven and look at all that cheese. Just melted in there and the bubbles. Mmm, and it smells heavenly. Oh, my mouth's watering. So now I'm going to let it cool for about 10 minutes. I want to show y'all how cheesy it is. Woo-wee! Look at all that cheese. Alrighty, so now I'm about to give the taste. Alrighty, my friends, I have fixed me up a bowl. And of course, got to add more butter. Love lots of butter on my grits. So now I'm going to stir it up. So that butter can melt. Alrighty, now it's time for the best part, the tasting. Here we go. Mm-mm, look at that. Have a bite. Mmm. Lord have mercy. Cheesy, and the grits are perfectly cooked. It's full of flavor. Oh, I'm in grits heaven. These baked cheese grits are phenomenal, my friends. Please give this recipe a try. This is Urban Ella Bite. Mm-mm. Yum-o. Cheese grits licious. My friends, I want to thank all y'all for watching and joining me in my southern kitchen today. If you enjoyed this recipe, please give it a thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. Don't forget to share this with your family and friends. Like, comment, subscribe to my channel, and click on the bell so that way you'll be notified when my new videos come out. Also, follow me on social media. Facebook, Ellen's Homemade Delights, and Instagram at Ellen Delights. And don't forget to hashtag Ellen's Homemade Delights. And to purchase a cookbook along with your picture, please send me an email. Ellen's Homemade Delights at gmail.com. I would love to see your beautiful creations with my recipes. And I'll see you next time. Let's eat. Much love and happy Mother's Day.